everyone. My name is Angie. Welcome to my house. I was trying to find something to do during the quarantine, and I think a lot of people are trying to do that. Um, so I decided to do a few things that were not only fun, but might be useful to my family as well. So uh, let me just show you a few things that I've been working on. Let's see if I can get it focused on the camera here. This is vinegar, and we can always use that for whether it be for drinking, cooking, um, cleaning. Vinegar is always a good thing, and that was a pretty easy project. Um, my husband makes the most wonderful homemade bread, and he made rolls, and he made some French bread as well. These are for Scythia and... Uh, let's see if you can see that a little bit better. And Violet Jelly. Those are actually from uh, our yards and our woods. And um, they're, they're, it was a lot of fun getting out to not only pick them, but to make the jellies. And this was today's project. I made butter. This was filled about three-fourths full of heavy whipping cream. And then I sat for an hour and just shook. I was watching TV. I had a YouTube channel on it, watching more recipes. And by the time that it was finished, you can kind of see it. I had a clump of butter in my jar. Now what I need to do with that is I need to get it rinsed, salt it, separate the liquid from it, and that liquid is called whey. You ever heard of Little Miss Muppet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey? Well, that's what that is. And whey is actually very uh, good for your body. It has a lot of probiotics in it, and um, it's not the most tasty thing in the world. So what I would do is mix it with um, milk for buttermilk, or you could put it in smoothies. You can drink it with juices, you know, add it into your juices, um, but it's very healthy for your body. Uh, so, and it will keep for approximately six months if you put it in the, the refrigerator without going bad at all. Just put it in a bottle, put a lid on it or a jar, you know, with a lid and um, don't have to worry about it spoiling. It's, it is um, something that's nature's, one of nature's perfect foods. So it doesn't go bad very quickly at all. Um, next thing I need to do is rinse my butter. And I'm going to do that, and then I will uh, show you a little bit about how that's done as soon as I'm prepped for it. So let me uh, get my equipment out, and I'll see you back here in just a few minutes. Okay, we're back. The one thing I didn't share with you um, before was how I created this butter. I put it in a jar, and I shook it. All the jar is, is just a pint size mason jar. However, there are a couple of other ways you could do it. You could actually put it in your KitchenAid mixer and about 10 minutes or so with your whisk, just leave it on and leave it go. But you better have a guard on top of your bowl or it will spat the butter fat everywhere when it starts forming. The other thing is this really neat little tool that my sister gave me. I don't know. Let's see if I can get in on that. This is called an egg beater. And it's one of the old-fashioned ones. It's on top of a mixing uh, type cup. It has a spout in it. And you just put your cream in there and turn this little crank. See that crank and see how it turns the blades? 
And you could do that for a fun way of doing it. I just prefer doing it the old fashioned way. And so it was easy for me. I was sitting watching a YouTube and I just kind of shook my jars and um, just had a kind of a good time doing it. And it was very relaxing. Now what we need to do, uh, I have put my butter into my colander. I've already uh, put my whey into a jar. Now for the amount that I did, it will only give you, um, let's see how many ounces this is. That is eight ounces. It'll give you eight ounces of whey, which is really good. Like I said, used in smoothies. I like it. Um, it it's, I think I would probably use it in place of milk in my smoothies, especially if you're doing keto, it is keto friendly. Um, and then I put my butter into a colander. Now let me see if I can get my camera set down so that you can see what I'm gonna do with it next. Let's see here, if I can get this arranged so you can see it. And I'll zoom in just a little bit. Well, it won't even let me zoom in, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna rinse this butter. Now, when you start rinsing the butter, it's going to have, it's going to look cloudy when the, when the water comes through the colander. And you just rinse it until the water comes out clear. Once it does, then your butter is uh, fully processed and it's ready to be put into a container or put into a bowl and mixed with salt. I'm not going to salt my butter because I like to use mine for baking. And there, I think mine is running clear now, so let the rest of that run out. Set that in there. And I have these pretty little containers that I'm going to use to put it in. Let me grab a spoon here. It's very soft until it's refrigerated. So it's very spreadable. So if you have any homemade bread or uh, biscuits or anything that you'd like to have some butter on, this is the best time to get it. Oh, is it ever good. Put some of this into this container. And I have one more of those containers. Put some in it as well. This gives me for three fourths of a quart, which is um, 24 ounces of cream. It gives me nine and a half ounces of butter. So a little over a half a pound of butter. And it tastes so much better than butter that's been frozen or uh, bought from a store. So and here you can see it. See how fluffy that looks? And it's very soft. But now when you put it in the refrigerator, it will harden up. Uh, quite nicely it will um, you can cut it in slices you can put it in pats a lot of people once this hardens will take this out and they'll roll it up and put it in parchment paper and then they'll have it so they can just slice it off and use it okay that was my today's project uh, my next project is going to be yogurt and cheese. Um, we'll see if I can do a video of it later. I hope you're enjoying your day. Stay in. Feel safe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.